In our last episode, the futuristic renegade Roxy Rubicon from the year 2050 unexpectedly transports herself back to the year 2010. Now, she seeks to track down and confront former Federal Reserve Chairman Alvin Greenspun. So, where do all the central bankers hang out around here? Gentlemen, welcome to Club Palladium! <laughs> I'm your host, Rico Duterio. And then we got a treat for you tonight. <laughs> First up on stage, making her debut right here at Club Palladium. It's a foxy, futuristic number. to the fresh dollars first before inflation sets in. Uh, and uh, to uh, hide the plague of inflation, which hurts the poor and the muddle crass the most, you manipulate the gold and silver markets, allowing concentrated shorts, huge paper positions of gold and silver beyond what's in the vaults, and coordinated central bank selling to cap the price at 2%. Uh, uh. High frequency trading and naked short selling make a mockery of the so-called free markets. Jesus Christ! You did your homework, honey. Well, uh, of course I knew. Duh. A guy in my position not able to see the overwhelming obvious? Ah, yeah, sure I manipulated the situation and fluffed the numbers and uh, told everyone what they wanted to hear. Damn it, it was the digital environment that made me do it. Listen, the public couldn't handle the truth. In Washington, uh, they didn't want to hear the truth. Didn't you hear? Nothing can be known. Ha! <laughs> what was I supposed to say? They were on the brink of a total collapse. And the dollar isn't going to be worth wiping your ass with? Ha! I just had to keep typing those zeros. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, what zero, 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 zero. zero. Now plunge your protection team right now. <laughs> Roxy, no. He's not worth it. And besides... I have some news you may be interested in. It has to do with cold fusion. 
Stay tuned for the next episode of Roxy Rubicon, where Roxy meets with Seymour Savinar. But can she survive commercialized chaos of 2010?